In this video, I'm going to show you how ChatGPT can be used by financial professionals or anyone in need of general financial advice with the help of prompt templates from Keywords Everywhere. So let's get started. Okay, so to get access to the prompt templates for financial advice, you need Keywords Everywhere. So go to keywordseverywhere.com and install this browser add-on for either Chrome or Firefox. And the next step is for you to log in to your OpenAI account. Now with your Keywords Everywhere extension installed and turned on, you'll notice two new things in your ChatGPT dashboard. The first thing is this templates button on the left-hand side. And the second thing is this continue button on the top right hand corner. Now for this video, we will be focusing on this templates button. Now to get access to the finance prompt templates, we will click on this templates button and this will open up the ChatGPT prompt templates widget. We then need to click on this category dropdown and click on professionals. Then for subcategory, we are going to click on finance. And these are all of the finance templates that we can use. Let's click on the first one, investment manager. Now this template will produce financial advice that an investment manager might be able to offer for you. We then need to choose a language. I'm gonna click on English. And this is where we add our job role and background. So let's just say I'm a 50 year old software developer at a publicly traded company and I want to invest my bi-weekly income so I can retire by 63. And this is where we add our investment amount in US dollars. So I'm gonna put down 10,000 and this is our prompt template. So everything we added up here automatically gets added to this template. It says, please respond only in the English language. And we did select that up here. And it says, can you please provide advice for a person with the following job role? I am a 50 year old software developer at a publicly traded company. I want to invest my biweekly income so I can retire by 63. And that's what we added up here. And then it says, who wants to invest 10,000 USD? And that was added here. Now you can edit the text in this template if you wish, but I'm not going to touch this template whatsoever. I'm just gonna click on execute template. Okay, so within a few seconds, ChatGPT generated financial advice uh, for my specific case. Okay, so this is our prompt template and this is what ChatGPT generated. It organized its advice in this nice table right here. It listed out different asset classes, how much I should be allocating my 10,000 USD on, and it also tells me the exact amount I should be investing for each asset class and the explanation. So according to ChatGPT, it wants me to invest in stocks, bonds, real estate investment trusts, diversified mutual funds, and for cash or cash equivalents, it says it's advisable to avoid allocating any portion of your investment to cash at this time. And ChatGPT ends with some caveats. It says, Please note that the asset allocation provided above is a general suggestion and may not be suitable for everyone. And then it continues and it also reminds us that it says, I am an AI language model and this advice should not be taken as financial or investment advice. It's always recommended to consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Okay, so definitely keep that in mind. ChatGPT does sometimes hallucinate data, so what it tells you may not always be correct. But nonetheless, you can use this template as a starting point if you're looking for financial advice from an investment manager. Okay, so let's go to the next prompt template. Let's click on this templates button. And for the templates dropdown, we are going to click on Excel Macro Helper. Now this template is a great one for financial professionals or basically anyone who uses Excel very frequently and wants to create macros. So you can choose from different languages and this is where we add our goal. So we need to explain the Excel macro goal we would like to achieve here. So let's just say I want to create an Excel macro for us to unhide all rows and columns. Okay, so that's my goal. And this is the prompt template. Now I'm just gonna click on execute template. Okay, here we go. So again, this is our prompt and this is our Excel macro. So we can copy this, go to Excel to create our macro. So as you can see, this template will save you so much time to create any type of macro you want without having you ask around or go to Google to figure out how to create a macro. Just ask ChatGPT using this prompt template. Okay, so let's go to the next prompt. Let's click on this templates button 
And for the templates dropdown, we are going to click on Financial Dictionary. Now this template will produce real-world examples for financial terms of your choice. So you can choose from different languages, and this is where we add our finance-related terms. So I'm going to put a handful of them right here, so amortization, assets, bonds, stocks, and EBITDA. And this is our prompt template, and click on Execute Template. Okay, so ChatGPT provided us with definitions for all five of our terms, and it also provided real-world examples. All right, so for amortization, the definition says, the process of gradually paying off a debt or loan through regular payments over a specific period of time, and this is a real-world example. A mortgage loan is typically amortized over a 30-year period, where the borrower makes monthly payments to gradually reduce the principal amount owed. And this one is assets, bonds, stocks, and EBITDA right here. And then it ends with, the examples provided are for illustrative purposes only and may not reflect current market conditions or specific investment opportunities. So keep in mind, again, that ChatGPT might hallucinate information, so you definitely want to cross-check these definitions and real-world examples with a professional. Okay, so those were all of the prompt templates I wanted to show you today. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. And if you want to check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.